Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and we just had more new images of the Ninjago City Gardens leaked or revealed. These are coming from this website right here, Bricks World. This is an official LEGO store, so this is a leak that I'm allowed to report on because it's like an official LEGO retailer that like put this up, but obviously this hasn't been revealed by LEGO themselves, and I don't know why they don't just reveal the set yet because this is like the fourth or fifth leak we've had of this set, and like now everybody knows what it looks like. But we have some cooler and more in-depth pictures of this, so I thought we sh I should go over it on camera and just show you guys what the uh, what this set has in store. So First, here's like the official art. We saw this in the uh, magazine a couple days ago. It looks very cool. I like the set. Then we have this all new like actual product shot of the set on a shelf. Very, very cool. It looks quite big. And uh, this is this is a section that you can see a little bit better here. This was in an unofficial leak a couple days ago, I believe. There's a second like garden section right here that's on a whole nother base plate. And it uh, it has like the statue of Zane from Abooted and everything. Like it's very, very cool. But yeah, there's what it looks like up close. Something else interesting is the Golden Woo is actually on a little stand just like the rest of the golden figures. That might sound like a given, but because he's a little bit different, right, with the golden head and the fact that he comes in a big set, I thought he might be incorporated into the set some way. I wasn't sure he'd actually come with a stand, but no, he does. So that's very cool, and I, yeah, I like that there. Here's another angle of it from the side, and there you can see that little garden a little bit. You can see right there, there is the uh, Titanium Zane statue. It's not perfect. It's got, like, the Praetorian Guard armor and then, like, his new hair and no half mask, so it's not exactly like the statue looks in the show, but it, it could quite easily be modified, and except for the half mask, but hopefully they do release the silver half mask at some point pretty cool weapon for the mechanic right there too i like that but yeah you can just get a better look at some of the build right here nothing all too like new or special but it still looks very good Oh, and it looks like there's like a 10 years of Ninjago panel right in front of the tree right there. That's pretty cool. Here's an up close look at some of the rooms. First, there's this little like arcade cabinet up here. I believe this says Street Ninja on it, Street Ninja 2, which I don't believe that was an actual game in the show, but still pretty cool looking design right there. It looks like it's like multi-dimensional too with the way they do the stickers. So I'm very curious how that looks, but uh, I like in person, but I think this looks really cool from this image right here. There's also this little post on the side with an advertisement for Space Police 3. This was a theme from the early, from the late 2000s if you guys weren't like, uh, Lego collector back then. It was a theme I loved, so it's super cool to see it referenced here. Uh, it's a little bit odd, like these colors aren't perfectly perfect, but the figures are very clearly uh, based on Space Police 3, so this is really awesome. And then here's a closer look into like the Ninjago fans' apartment. There's not a ton more you could see here. These two uh, little like things at the top are actually two of the new Season 14 sets. These two are the Catamaran Sea Battle, the two vehicles in that one, and then this is the Keeper's Village right here. Very cute like little micro builds and a fun reference to like the newer sets. And then there's like the bed with the Ninjago sheets like I've talked about before. And there's like a little white figurine right here, which I assume is meant to be Zane. Here's a look at the next floor down to the ice cream shop up a little closer. This is a really cool reference right here on this little poster. And then, yeah, there's a little ice cream shop with the guy standing out front. I love the colors on this. I think it looks super cool. And then if you go, I can't tell what all these advertisements are. This one right here is for Prime Empire, which is really cool. That's a fun reference. Here's an image showing everything taken apart. This is what I was talking about. This image uh, leaked a couple days ago, but it wasn't official, so I couldn't cover it. Uh, there's that section right there, the garden section with the Zane statue. And then going up, there's all kinds of, like, different shops. I believe, Matthew pointed this out to me. I believe this right here is actually a Ronin shop, which is very, very cool, because obviously Ronin comes into the set, but if you look inside of it, it appears to be Ronin shop, which looks really, really cool, and, like, that's a very exciting, sh uh, like, build to get, and then there's all the different sections coming up here. It looks quite good. This is cool. It shows the gardens connected to all of the other Ninjago City sets, the original, the docks, and now the new one, obviously. I'd be curious to see this connection from different angles. There's a few awkward things. The main one is right here, this like upper section on the, uh, this upper section of the docks like does not connect to the upper section on the gardens, which is very weird. It's just like this tiny little thing that you can't reach. So I would have preferred if they connected in some way, but I guess you could put the docks on the other side. So I'd be curious to see like how you can actually modify this in person. But yeah, this like entire city looks very, very cool having all three of these together. There's a look at the box. Unfortunately, it's very low resolution, so we can't see it up any closer than this. And here's the back of the box, which again shows like some in interior to this but it's very low resolution so we can't really see anything new and then here's just a showcase of the entire build this set is huge and has so many minifigures i'm generally so excited for this set this looks amazing and that's it for pictures so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys thought of all these new pictures and hopefully lego officially reveals this soon because it comes out in what four days so <laughs> hopefully hopefully we see official pictures soon but yeah this is just yet another leak for this set yeah let me know you guys think of this set in the comments below and if you plan on picking it up on january 14th but that's about gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed please press like subscribe if you're new i do lego and Ninjago videos like this every single day, so if you subscribe, be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.